I got a polar bear hit. I got the polar bear. Oh, I was walking along here, looking at some old tracks, and right up on top of the hill, there's a fresh sign. And when I looked up, the polar bear was right above me. So I never fired. I started to come back and I said, wait a second. And so when he turned, I fired at it up there and uh, he started to slide, go down the hill. And when he was sliding, I wasn't gonna wait for the second shot. I was just right there. And so I said, I'll go back towards the skidoo bit. You make some distance on it. And uh, holy hell. Whoa! Dream come true. I'm shaking like a leaf. I just gotta wait, make sure there's another one here. Uh, oh my God. It happened like crazy because I, I was looking at old sign because I know these beers pass. Gonna ride around here a bit. Now make a little platform. We're gonna roll out and uh, we're gonna get at. Look at that. Nothing to it. <laughs> Throw around a beer like nothing. We got a neck on it. Get luck on that. You wouldn't do no good. <laughs> I guess it gets a good weight too when it starts to go down like that. Yeah. So it's the... After it starts coming off, and then it gets lighter, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I lift lots of fat on too. I didn't want a chance of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hard to cut these, Bill. They're a tough old skin. Yeah, they're easier to do than easier to do than a wolf. Only the hard part is just moving them around on the beam. Oh, okay. Take a little leather in. Well guys, uh, I just cleaned up a bit of polar bear meat. Uh, my buddy Vance was just here and got a couple of meals and I just want to show you how, how, just look how nice this meat looks. I tell you, that's beautiful looking meat. So I'm just bagging it off here now. Oh, uh -huh. Just like going for butter with this. Yeah, no. Oh freak, what a difference. Fur master. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he's at. <laughs> when you do it though, when you know what you're doing.
All right, official measurement here now. The girt is 54, 54 inches. And the lint, and drum roll. <laughs> 15 feet. Whoa! <laughs> uh, 8 foot 2 inches. 8 foot 2, yeah, yeah. bigger than that. Yeah, 98, 98 and a half. Right on. Gonna be a lovely rug. Yes, sir. An old fur master, look at that. Money to it. Half a day's work for the man. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, when we measure now, he's at eight foot two inches, uh, a bit bigger than a uh, tidy was. So I'm really happy. That's going to make a real nice uh, rug for the living room. I had the fire in all last night, and in and, and all day, and the fans going. So I'll take a few days to dry in proper. And uh, some people have been asking me, you know, what what rifle did I use? And I was use I used my two seven eight Ruger, and I was using these Winchester uh, one fifty grain bullets, and uh, you know. Uh, this Ruger done me very well through the years. I harvested quite a few, you know, seals, caribou, moose, black bears, and now uh, I could add polar bear to the list. So, <laughs> really happy with that. Yes, sir, I must say, this gun, you know, she done me very well through the years. And uh, some people have been asking uh, about the skull. Uh, uh, Chris, the wooded beardsman, and uh, the wild yam. Uh, uh, the skull now I handed the skull into uh, the new Nazi of it, uh, wildlife officers and they're gonna send that uh, skull away and they'll age the beer with that but then they'll clean the skull and, and send them back and so I'll get the skull back and uh, what I want to use the skull for uh, the wild yam asked because I said I was going to use the the skull to forecast the weather and the old tradition in our area is people used to hang up like uh, polar bear skulls and black bear skulls from the ceiling and the way you turn they be uh, able to forecast the weather by it and a lot of this like uh, this tradition is lost uh, the last fellow that I know that knew a lot about it was uh, well Harold Russell and uh, he was from William Cyber, living Port Hope and William Cyber and uh, he passed away two or three years ago and uh, I tell you uh, he and his other two brothers they'd be up the house if they had to argue if they were arguing over what the weather would be like the next day uh, sometimes they go down the stage, look at the skull, and say, "Okay, see, I told you." Uh, so, like you know, they really believe, they really believed in it, uh, and it's just too bad, you know, that a lot of this is lost. But I'm going to hang it up regardless, and uh, you never know, somebody learn a thing or two from it as well over time. Uh, yeah, I know a couple of people, you know, that uh, had their skulls come back, and uh, they were broke up a bit. Now uh, I don't know if it's from the cleaning process or if the beer was struck in the head or something but I just hope that uh, my skull comes back not damaged uh, yeah and I guess you've seen the meat I got the, the meat put in the freezer there and I'm gonna soon have a meal of that and uh, I kept a couple of the bones this right here would be like the forearm his paw would be up here you know very powerful animals right and this one here is his uh, hind bone he's daughter right there. that would be his uh, hip joint right there and his pod would be down right there. So, yeah. You know, it's a rear, it's a rear harvest, so uh, I want to keep a bit of stuff from it. And I also uh, got some here now. Well, in this bag, I got some uh, some polar bear fat. I'm going to render it out and get the oil from it. So, I'll be doing that later on. Well, right here, this is one of the, the polar bear's paws, and some people consider the polar bear paw a delicacy. 
Uh, I never tried them before, but I'm going to cook this one up tomorrow, and I'll probably make a video of it. And uh, see, it's really fat. I guess uh, if I had to compare it to anything, I'd probably compare it to a seal flipper. So, I mean, I love seal flippers, so I can't see why that wouldn't be good. And before I go, uh, you know, some people have been asking about the rug, and I know that uh, my brother-in-law had one down there uh, a couple years ago, and uh, when he sent it out, it was dry like this. When he sent it out, I think it was like eight months uh, before he got back again. But once you know, you send it to the taxidermist, did they send it out and getting tanned and you sign back to them and whatnot. But so I'm not worried about that. Uh, just hope when he comes back, you have a great job done on him, and uh, you know, it'll last a lifetime. Uh, yeah, and uh, also I got to give a. A great big shout out to Jim Shouse, uh, Fur Master Jim, for all his help. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, he's a pro when it comes to this stuff, and uh, to have him to help was uh, was amazing. Yeah, so and a big thank you to all the people to follow me. Uh, uh, you know, on my channel, I can't thank you enough. You know, this was a really exciting hunt, uh, uh, a very special moment. You know, uh, something that I'll never forget. Uh, I'm glad that they're able to take this line and show you some of it. I really appreciate y'all following. So uh, I guess that's it for this one, though, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, take care and hope to see you all on the next one. All the best from the big land.